Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at the concept of complements in set theory. So we have the question, given set U with elements B, C, F, H, M, P, and set A with elements C, H, P, we need to answer the question, if set A is a subset of U, what is the complement of set A? So for this type of problem, I find students will get confused by what do they mean by complement? Well, to understand this definition, just know that the complement of set A, all we're looking for are the elements that are in set U but not set A. So we're looking for the elements that are in set U but not set A. So one way I like to answer these problems is I line up the two sets. So we have the set U and we have B, C, F, H, M, and P. And we have set A, we're looking at C, H, and P. So if we're looking for the elements that are in U but not set A, I like to cross off the common elements that are in both sets. So we'll cross off C and C, we'll cross off H and H, and finally we'll cross off P and P. So if we're looking for the complement of set A, we can indicate that with A, and we put a C as a superscript that stands for complement. So A complement is the set of all elements that are remaining in U that we didn't cross off. So we have B, F, and M. So this set consists of B, F, and M. So this would be the complement of set A. So just to recap, for this problem, to understand the definition of complement, just think the complement are the elements that are in set U but not set A. And then line up the two sets and cross off the elements they have in common. Circle the remaining elements and that would be the complementary set. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on the concept of complements and set theory. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.